Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, uh, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Go ratings, Pokey fans! Michael here and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokemon Ultra Sun. Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokemon games. If you are enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like, answer the comment question below, and if you missed the last episode, make sure you go check that out so you know what's been going on. Had a pretty intense battle with Hal, and you're going to want to make sure you see that. Um, also, I did receive this product free from Nintendo. Uh, we are here in the Molly Community Center. Check this out at the end of the last episode. But now we're going to go to the library and do various cutscenes with Lily, meet Acerola, and so on. Oh my god, is it raining? Holy crap. Rains in this town? Is this a new edition or did it always rain? Michael, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop. Then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it, even though I don't even think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it. <laughs> the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library, so I guess you could say it was all for the best. <laughs> Nihai! Oh, you didn't say Nihai, you said Nih- eh, eh. What's up, Hapu? How you doing? Been a while. Alright, so this appears to be the exact same. This rain at sunset's pretty cool, though. Like, I- they're like, it's raining, but there's- I don't see clouds in the sky. What do they call that? There's like various terms for that, like... I, I took a dialect quiz back, like, freshman year of college. It's like, oh, like, let's see, you know, like, New York Times said it, like, we're gonna try and guess what part of the country you're from. Um, and it was like, what do you call it when it's raining while it's sunny? And I was like, well, there's Samson Oak. But apparently there are terms, like, something about, like, the wolves, devil, wolf, something. I don't remember. Hello, you give me fly, right? Yep. Uh... I think we can teach that to Halucha, but I don't think I'm going to, just because the two-turn stuff can cause some problems. For example, confusion, you have to break through- you have to not hurt yourself twice. Hey, man! Since you're out and about exploring our island, I'm sorry, know about the regional variants. Yes. Um, just as I was expecting, yes. What? Can I give you more stickers for another totem Pokemon? You have a local... What is this? Are there... There's gotta be a sticker in here. I don't see it so far. Aha! I knew it. It's weird that he's, like, not mentioning the stickers anymore. We have 40! Oh, what? What?! So he said, just come by, what? Why? You're right there! <laughs> Why should I have to go to him, he beach? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Okay, well I just want to see what totem Pokemon he gives me, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do this real quick. I went the wrong way. So dumb. It's like he wants to see you at Hee Hee Beach. He's right there! He's down the hall! <laughs> I can make eye contact with this guy! Alright, what totem Pokemon is it gonna be? Oh, sorry. 40, yes. A Marowak! Cool. I'm not gonna use it on my team because Fire Ghost kind of conflicts with my starter. But I get in my Pokedex. It's a giant one. Sweet. Um, the rich greener in the Alola region is hard on Marowak. It controls fire to stay alive. Oh, weird. Nope. We're just gonna send you to a box. Okay, well, I guess now we know it's just like as soon as I get it, I get a notification. 
I just wish I could know. I wish he'd tell me how many to the next one, but let's go back to Molly. <laughs> Molly! <laughs> and go do the cutscenes upstairs. But now we know we got a totem gumshoes and a totem marowak. Interesting that he skipped the Raquinid. So I have like no way to predict which ones I'm gonna get next. Oh, oh, nope. This is the library. There we go. The outer capes up there, I should go check that out. I don't think there's gonna be any wild Pokemon there that I want, because they're mainly poison types and I already have Marini. But uh Acerola. Oh, I should pay attention to this because the lore is probably gonna be a bit different. Maybe. What's up? Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read! Uh, oh, of course. Lily is kind of the princess of the Aether Foundation. Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. It's just uh, read it aloud. Okay, this is definitely different, so I'm gonna read this. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was called the Beast that Devours the Sun. Okay, that seems the same. The King of Alola bowed before it, the beast that shone so like the sun, the Island Guardians fought against it, but in the end, the beast had won. Then did the beast that devours the sun shine its light on the line of kings. Then did the beast that had won bring nature's gift to bless all things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, though through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born, that Island Guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Solgaleo as song of flute. Two tones rain out across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Okay, actually that, maybe that was the same. Can't remember. We never get to meet her dad. My family used to be pretty much royalty. Um. Electric type trial, and I don't have a ground type, but if it's a Vike of all, we'll handle it with fire! Or flying. Well, flying would probably not be wise considering my Alucha is weak to flying. But I feel like it's gonna be. What do you call it? Togedomaru. I'm like quite confident of that. But let's check out here. I know it's gonna be a dead end, but let's check it out. What'd you say? So many chairs, so many chance to earn some prize money. Whoa, -ho! whoa, what? Ah, sick! Fight everyone! <laughs> okay, it is raining. I should put Marini in the second position if I hadn't already, because the rain will be nice for that. Please send out some rock and ground types. That'd be pretty sweet. Don't know who's second. Lilligant and Whimsicott. Okay. Grovile can't do a freaking thing to these guys. It did start to rain. Thank you for that um, informative observation. Let's go flying press on Lilligant. Whimsicott, I'm pretty sure flying press the flying is good, but the fighting's resisted, so it's neutral. Alright, we're not weak to grass, so... Oh, it affects both of us, wow. Unfortunately, I can't really bring in the fire type, because rain and such. Okay, and we'll just Venom shock you and Aerial Ace you. Don't need to poison you because you're four times weak to poison! Oh, that kind of stinks. Oh, one shot! Wow! Man, so buff. <laughs> Where'd he go, Tex? Recover. What do you know? Hmm. 
He has a special attack lowering nature, and it's only three points below his attack. Eh, I'm not gonna use recover. I never use healing moves in a playthrough. I just use potions. Yay for Springer! Okay, Pikachu. <laughs> Okay, I want to put, um, I want to put Tex in second, because he'll enjoy the rain boosted power. Before this power boost goes away, we gotta battle more people! Oh, TM. Gyro Ball. Eh. It's kind of lame. No time for wild battles, I need to earn money! Whoa. It's a large beware. I challenge you to a battle. I accept! <laughs> Master, please lend me your strength. What on earth? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Black Belt Alvaro. Oh, I actually think Flying Press is like four times super effective on this. Because the flying is good against the fighting, and the fighting is good against the normal. An epic battle with a Beware in the rain. Dear God. Well, let's hope this one-shots. Booyah! Way to go, Nacho! Right, we defeated Alvaro. Master, I'm sorry I failed you. Grrr. As you wish, Master. My Master says that you have proven your strength and are worthy of learning one of his many moves. All right, cool. All right, sweet, I like it. <laughs> Let's heal up, uh... Nacho. Cause I gotta keep going while I can get my prize money! Oh! This guy's here. He's still here. This is the guy that A-Drive said, oh look, he's doing push-ups. Those are sit-ups, Dan. <laughs> Clayton! Ariyama! Okay, we're gonna switch. Not just getting a lot of experience points. Because there's a lot of fighting types on this route. Oh, that's not good. Good thing we outspeed, but we gotta make sure we KO this thing right now. I'm going for Aerial Ace, because Flying Press is not 100% accurate, and if it misses, I'm in a sticky spot. Should KO from this range, though. Yep, alright. I got scared there for a sec, but we're good. Springer's catching up, this is good. My hopes were crushed, but he still has a smile on his face. Oh, nice. It's always useful. Are there any other trainers here? No. Okay, that was just crap. That was pointless. <laughs> Thought that led somewhere. No, it's just like back on along the route. A parasect. Whoa. All right. Suppose we'll get you. Quick ball. Oh, so close! Alright, not worth my time if I can't catch it with a quick ball. <laughs> I got places to go! Pokemon to meet! Are there any trainers on this map that I- Yes, here you go. Man, Dedenne ain't messing around. 
Da -da -da. That's a new Pokemon for this, uh... This Dex. We're gonna keep Grovile in, because... I don't have anything that's good against electric types. <laughs> and it's fairy type too, but like... Toxapex is weak to... Or Marini is weak to electric. But we resist electric! That's fine! That's annoying! It's okay, Grovile, we got this. Come on, buddy. Just Giga Drain. Volt Switch! That... Yeah! Alright. Right, we'll use Giga Drain one more time, get a tiny bit of HP back. Hooray for low, uh, very low, uh, AI! <laughs> Thunder Wave while I'm already paralyzed. Do you know what this means? 34! Earth power? You are a physical attacker. Woohoo! About to get an Incineroar. We're going to promptly fly back to Akala and teach it Fire Punch. Hopefully I have enough battle points, beach points. Pretty sure I do. Sick! Center of Stater will be added to the Pekadex. Pretty cool. What does the deck say? Although it's rough-mannered and egotistical, it finds beating down unworthy opponents boring. It gets motivated for stronger opponents. Nice. Darkest Lariat, right, is my Evo move? Ha-ha! <laughs> Goodbye, Bite. I have a better move. What is Darkest Lariat's special effect? It, like, ignores the opponent's stat changes or something like that? I should look. All right. Gotta get rid of your paralysis, buddy. Hooray! Mm. Uh... Let's look at your... Target stat changes don't affect this attack's damage. Okay. That's nice if I get any crazy defense boosting stuff. Alright. I think my... I think I battled all the trainers here. Maybe? Looks like my thing's almost out. Okay, it did. Alright. Let's go back to Akala. Teach it Fire Punch. And then fly back and move on! Start hitting up Mount Hakulani. Yes? I have 10. Okay, so I have just enough. If I want to teach anybody anything else, I'm gonna have to uh, do some more surfing. Thank God it can learn Fire Punch. That would be incredibly stupid if it could not. Yeah, because Fire Punch is 75, which is a lot better than, well, a little bit better than Fire Fang. It's 100% accurate, too, so. Oh, can I teach it Brick Break? Gotta be able to teach it Brick Break. Uh, let's see by name. we go. Alright, upgrade on double kick. Man, massive upgrade for the rock. Moveset suddenly gets, like, two of his moves get, 
or three of his moves get way better. Bite to Darkest Lariat, Fire Fang to Fire Punch, and Double Kick to Brick Break. And it evolves while so its stats are now incredible. Well, not incredible, but a lot better than a Tora Cat's. Very exciting. And now these are actually dark type, I'm a lot less scared of psychic types like uh like How's Alone and Right, she'll be able to handle that way better next time. I also regret not using uh <laughs> probably should have used Leech Life. It, well, I don't know if it would have mattered, probably still would not have KO'd. But I realized after the fact Leech Life was stronger than Bite was, and I should have gone for that instead of for Darkest or instead of for Bite, but Onward! Uh, should we check out the cape? Should check out the cape. <sighs> Sup? And it's raining everywhere. Is there a TM here? I feel like there might be, but I'm not positive. Melvin! Ah, lovely. <laughs> Great Pokemon to fight with a grass type. And I don't have anyone that's good against it, so let's just use the rock for exciting purposes. Not gonna use Fire Punch because it's raining. We're gonna use Darkest Lariat for the first time. Of course, he gets poisoned. Ugh. Oh! Good work, buddy! Thanks! Spinning Top of Doom! Wow! That was awesome! Alright, Springer's getting close. Agility. Learn better moves. <laughs> Another Trubbish, we'll, we'll keep battling. No problems. Spotless, yes indeed. Okay, there is an item up here. Those guys, it's like some long, drawn-out thing where you battle them like three in a row or something, and there's like way too much dialogue, so I will not be speaking to them. I don't remember what you get from them, but I don't recall it being anything I was happy about. Is it either a bad TM? Or... Time speed. I feel like it was a TM, but it was a bad TM. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything particularly useful here because I don't have the patience for talking to that plant manager and his dad for 10 years. All right, let's head up to Mount Hakulani after we bust through, I think this is Route 10? It is. Let's see what hops out of the tree at me. I legit could not tell what that was. A Pineco! Oh, that's new! That was not in the decks prior to this game. Getting a quick ball for me, that'd be nice. Yes! Way to go! Very pleased! was great. Good work. Proud of you. Pineco's data will be added to the Pokedex. Yeah, I got ourselves a Pineco. Beautiful. Motionless, it hangs from trees waiting for its bug Pokemon prey to come to it. Its favorite in Alola is Cutie Fly. It's the circle of life, guys. We can't be that sad. Guess we'll fight this fireman! 
you have fire types, that's going to be unfortunate. I hope you have water types. Hello, Alex. Octillery! It's boosted by the rain, but I don't care. I have Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Alright, 2 AKO. If we survive this hit, we're golden. Oh, what? We survived the hit. We're golden! <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that. Okay, about half, yeah. Way to go, Springer. Proud of you, buddy. Okay, Pikachu. I lost, I was extinguished. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get you back up to full health, buddy. It remind me to buy better potions when we get to the Hakalani. I need like uh I need to start buying hyper potions. Burst? What hops out of the tree? Is it another pine cow? If it's a pine cow, we're running. What the heck was that? Is that a Firo? It's a Skarmory. Alright, cool. Um, I'm gonna throw a quick ball. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna run. All right, we're running away. I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> Run away. Woohoo! We did it. We got away safely. Super potion. I suppose I should get these bursts. Of course. Was it a Cabrawler? Yes, it is. Those are the only things that hide in the berries. <laughs> Alright, let's throw a quick ball at you. I haven't caught one of these before. Catching everything. Gotta get the Pokedex up, guys. Should have been doing this sooner, but... I don't like doing this unless I have the quick balls. Having the quick balls makes this way more pleasant. Hence <laughs> why quick balls are my favorite Pokeball. They work so well. Look cool. And are my channel's colors. Like, how can you not love it? Yay for Crabrawler! Alright, once we get to the top of the mountain, we'll call it an episode. It's hard, pincers are well suited to both offense and defense. Fight between two Crabrawler are like boxing matches. Send to a box. Ooh. Ah, uh, now we get these berries. That's right, I forgot. Greepa berry. Greppa berry? I feel like if it was Greppa, it would have had the two Ps, like Lepa. Hello, ma'am. Were you bothered by this beauty strolling along or by my Pokemon? Lady, I didn't say anything. What is... what's wrong? What's your deal? <laughs> Flaffy! We can beat a Flaffy. We resist the electric moves. Just don't freaking paralyze me. It's totally gonna paralyze me, but whatever. Oh, two hit KO! Heck yeah! Charge? Oh, special defense boost. Bummer, so it's no longer a two hit KO. Yep. Dang it, wasn't enough to KO. Alright. Let's finish out with a grass knot. <laughs> Did it ending? Boosh! <laughs> nice! Alright, we beat Andrea. Should have read what she said after that, just to see what her response is. Telling someone their Pokemon are cute is a good way to strike up a conversation. 
Your Pokemon aren't cute. Alright, we can skip the worker guy. Let's let's fight Team Skull and get up the mountain. What, you never see somebody take a bus stop to go before? <laughs> They're trying to steal a bus stop. That is how dumb these characters are. Oh my gosh. Okay, are you gonna have something that Grovile can beat? Probably not. Definitely not. Hello. We're gonna use text for this. Got our water, rain boosted water pulse. I'm not gonna use the C move because I think we can still one shot it. Aha, that will do nothing. Ha, four. Lol. Oh, come on. Alright, feel free to sleuth out my odors, buddy. What happens when you fight a, using a fire type against a water type in the rain, man? Hey, yo, when I fight, it's not supposed to lose. Do I fight both of them or just one? I think I lost, I always gotta fight. All right, we do fight both. That's fine. No problem. We got this. What are you going to have? Golbat! Oh my god. Yes, indeed, the antithesis of a, of a Grovile. Because Grovile could not touch a Golbat with a rocket launcher. Hmm. Let's go Tex again. Tex will resist the poison attack, or um, won't resist the flying attack, but I got the... We'll go for the Water Z move, boosted power by the rain. Should be able to take care of this thing. Poison Fang? Yeah, that'll do nothing. Yep. Hydro Vortex in the rain! If we attack. Pretty please. Gosh dang it. Alright, let's try that again. Oh crap, I misclicked! I used Water Pulse instead. Nuts. Need to buy hyper potions when we get to the top of the mountain. <laughs> My super potions are no longer cutting it. Come on, buddy. Hydro Vortex, you got this. Come on. Viva la Revolucion. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Angry little Marini. Rain boosted Hydro Vortex. If this doesn't KO, I'm going to be very disappointed. Good night. Where'd he go, Tex? That's my little boy. Very happy with this. Well, the bus drivers who take this bus stop, they can all chill. Yeah, and won't get any money to support their families. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Michael. What's up, Kikui? What's going on? Some Team Skull Punks just ran past me going the other direction, yeah? Sure wish they'd challenge the League instead of getting up to no good all the time. The League? Hmm. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Just you wait, cousin. First things first, I'm the realist. Second things first, I'm the... Something else. Okay, let's take the bus stop. Let's go up to Hakulani Observatory. 
Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you! Ha! <laughs> Hilarious wording. <laughs> Mount Hakulani. Oh, it's beautiful at night. Oh, do I have to do this cutscene about the, uh... I didn't realize I had to do this immediately upon arrival. Mount Hakulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola, and the tallest... Okay. As soon as this cutscene's over, we're, we'll call it an episode for this time. Check it out, Michael. See that steep jutting, majestic peak right over there? Yeah. That's Mount Mauna Kea, the highest peak in Alola. Emotions. It's a sacred spot, yeah, okay, um... Gonna, he's establishing the Pokemon League, I understand. Everybody's finished our island challenges. Yeah, up on the peak of Mount Lake Hill. Balakis, who's come to the island champions? Have our own champion. They can show the rest of the world what's so special about a lonely Pokemon and their trainers. All right, guys. Now that we are free to leave that cutscene, um... I'm going to say I love the challenge, so now I can do Roto Lotto and get things. Roto. Okay, let's see what we get. What is this? This is a new one. Hey, look at that! It's amazing power! Roto friendships. Okay, that'll be useful later, probably. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, answer the comment question down below, and that is all we have for now. So until next time, good fans, gotta catch them all!